Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the shell scripting course. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to generate uh, or how to create our very own random password generator. Now, this is probably one of the best uh, scripts that I would recommend for you, you know, to get started with, uh, with bash or shell scripting for that matter. And uh, it's really, really awesome in the sense that it, uh, once we're done, it will allow us to generate passwords of any length and uh, with a certain type of encoding, uh, giving us a, a, a specific set of characters to work with. All right, so uh, I have my environment set up and I'm using uh, Nano and I've already created the shell file right here. Uh, mine is called passwordgenerator.shell. Uh, I've increased the size uh, of uh, of the text in Nano so that you guys can see uh, what exactly is going on what and what I'm typing. Um, so before we get started, I just want to let you know uh, a specific tool or library that we'll be using to generate this password. All right. Now this, uh, as I mentioned, is a very, very exciting script to, to make because it really, again, shows you the power of uh, of shell scripting. Now, uh, we will be using a tool or a library, depending on how you view it, called OpenSSL. All right, so you might be asking yourself, well, what exactly is OpenSSL? Well, OpenSSL is simply a toolkit that is used by, by or for the transport layer uh, in terms of its security to secure different, uh, to secure various aspects of the connectivity, for example, sockets, etc. Now, we are not going to be using that functionality. Instead, we are going to be using its a cryptographic toolkit or its library, all right, and the algorithms therein, in the sense that OpenSSL allows us to generate um, to generate a, a whole variety or a, a length of characters in a specific uh, in a specific um, format in terms of a, an encryption algorithm uh, or a cryptographic algorithm uh, algorithm, for example, hexadecimal or base 64. Now that's what we're going to be using. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my uh, shebang here. Whoops, already the first spelling mistake. I apologize for that. And uh, we'll just comment this and say, uh, simple uh, password generator. Um, uh, for this videos and the other ones that will follow, we will be generating our own scripts, uh, useful scripts, that is. I will be posting these scripts on uh, GitHub on my repository, so you can check them out if you're, uh, uh, if you're interested. And you can also improve them if you want, and also let me know what you guys come up with as well. I would love to check them out. Uh, uh, that is a random password generator. All right, and... Um, we are now going to start our script really, really simply. So uh, we need to prompt the user. The script is going to be designed in the following way. We're going to prompt the user to enter uh, the length of the, of the password they want to generate. So for example, the length could be, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 12 characters or 15 characters, whatever they want, uh, we, will, we will allow them to do that. So uh, we'll say echo. And remember, you can improve upon this script if you want to. So we're going to say, Echo, this uh, is uh, is a simple password generator. Well, actually, it's not simple because the uh, the the complexity of the passwords that it does generate are very very good, and I use it myself uh, for setting uh, different passwords for different services. So this is a simple password generator, and again, we can use another echo here saying, uh, "Please enter the um, length of." of uh, the password all right uh, yeah S something really simple like that um and we'll say uh, down below here we'll start read uh, we'll read and we'll save it to a variable so we'll say read and we'll save this to a variable called pass uh pass length um yeah oops length uh, like so password length and uh, after this we now go into the uh, to a very very simple process that will involve a for loop, and I'll explain why. So, uh, what's going to happen is the user is going to um, is going to enter the uh, the length of the password. Now we need to use OpenSSL, but we need to do it need to use OpenSSL, but we need to do it in 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 regards to the amount of passwords we want to generate for. But you know we'll we'll implement this functionality later. But for now. Uh, we, we could give the user an option to enter or, or an option of maybe five passwords from which they could choose one from. Now we look at that in a second, but as I said, we're going to use a for loop. So we can say, for example, for, uh, for P, uh, in, 
in the sequence of uh, we can say sequence one for now and I'll explain why so sequence one and then we're gonna say do now in here is where we we would use open SSL so we simply put in the command as you would enter into the terminal or the bash uh, so we'll say open um, SSL and then now the syntax for for open SSL in regards to generating random characters is as follows so open SSL random uh, some of you may know this but if you don't worry don't worry we then select our encoding algorithm uh, which or our encryption algorithm which could be anything but I recommend for password generators it be base64 you so for that we can just type in base64 all right now after this what would happen is OpenSSL will generate uh, random base64 characters but it does not know to what extent uh, you want to use in regards to the cryptographic library of openness uh, of base 64 or the maximum length of characters of base 64 do I, what do i mean by this uh, base 64 has a a limited character set similar to what our alphabet has you know so for example uh you, you know the, the numeric uh, uh the the uh, the order of numerics is from 0 to uh, to 9 not really 10 in base 64 it has its own length it's about 48 characters so you can specify out of which of those 48 characters you want to use but in this case i'm just going to use all 48 uh, all 48 characters and i'm going to cut i'm going to pipe this through and i'm going to cut 40 specify the length of the password and out of those 48 that will it will generate randomly in base 64 we need to know when to stop it based on uh, the password length that the user will specify all right so to do that we select uh, the the cut uh, operator which is c1 which means column one we are cutting from the first column or the first letter all the way to the uh, length of the password which the user specified which is assigned to the variable password length all right and uh, what uh, what's happening here let me just explain it one more time is you're using open ssl to generate random characters in base 64 format uh, through the whole character range of base 64 we're then cutting this we're piping it and cutting it uh, from the first character to the pa to, to the password length which is what the user specified so in reality we have generated um, you know a random base 64 characters but we're generating them and we're going to cut uh, from the first letter all the way to what the uh, user specified which is perfect because that is the uh, indeed the um, the length of the password that the user did wanted to specify all right and i'm going to hit done and uh, yeah that pretty much should be it so let me just save this and let me exit and we're going to uh, launch the password generator so I'm going to launch it and as you can see it is going to prompt us and say this is a simple password generator please enter the length of the password so I'm going to hit the length of 20 and there you are so you can see it generates a fantastic password for us with uh, different characters both lowercase and uppercase with a special symbols like the plus symbol now uh, what if we wanted variety in regards to the um uh, we wanted a variety in regards to the passwords that are being generated well to do that we can simply increase the number of uh, of passwords that we're generating using the sequence operator in the for loop so if i just clear this up and uh, we use nano here again and now in the sequence that's the reason i specified that we can use the sequence here otherwise i could just leave it as one and you know but we want a sequence here so we're going to say sequence of one to five all right and from there it will generate five passwords from the from which the user can select the one they feel is appropriate for them okay so let's save this and let's exit and we're just going to run the script one more time and i'm going to enter a length of what i seem is uh, I, I feel is suitable which is around 25 and i'm going to hit enter and there you are so it's going to uh, it's going to generate five random passwords uh and all using the uh, uh the specific uh parameters that we specified in regards to uh, the length of the password and the encoding so the first one is there looks quite good um and we have the other ones right here which you can select from now m most of you in your mind right now would be will be asking well can we use other uh, algorithms in apart from base 64 well yes you can but the problem is with the other ones is they're not very conducive for safe passwords if you know what i mean so for example with base 60 uh, with base 64 it has the most robust character set out of uh, out of the other uh, 
uh, and encoding or encryption algorithms, whatever you want to call them. And I can explain this or show you this in a second. So instead of using uh, base64, what if I were to use something like hexadecimal, as I specified in the beginning? So we'll use hexa hexadecimal. And we can keep the 48 because that will again just generate 48 uh, of the random and then split them uh, just as we did in the previous uh, with base64. So let's exit now and you'll see what I'm talking about if you know what a safe password is. All right, so I'm going to hit enter and we can enter length of uh, 20 again. And as you can see, these are not considered safe passwords at all because they only contain numbers and uh, lowercase letters, which can be very easy to brute force or to hack for that matter. So uh, in regards or uh, we have to keep the uh, password um, password generator uh, rules intact where password should contain uppercase, lowercase numbers and special characters to make the password as complex as and as random as possible. Now uh, that is uh, going to be it for this video. This is a very, very simple password generator, but uh, as I mentioned, it gets the job done. Now I will be posting this script on my GitHub, so you can check it out for yourself and you can also improve it and also send me the links to it and I'll check it out and well, maybe we can make a video in the, in the improved ones. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to start off with a more exciting type of script that we can uh, create and uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a, a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.